Are you as lost as I was as far as what should go in a diaper bag for air travel for two kids? If so, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you everything I have in my diaper bag for airplane travel for my 18 month old toddler and my two month old infant. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jenny. I am a doctoral student, certified teacher, and also a mom of two very adorable girls. Alice is 18 months and Mina is two months old. So both of my girls are having to come with me to Florida because I am in a wedding for my dear friend and I was lost on what I should bring. So I really made a list to see what exactly I needed in here for both girls. So I wanted to show you what I'm putting in here to help you if you are traveling somewhere as well. So let's go ahead and start with the big, the big pocket. In the big pocket, I have a water cup for my daughter. Remember to leave it empty, of course. I also have a snack cup filled with the miniature size goldfish. I love these because they have no added sugar. And these are really cute snack cups. I think they're skip hop, but they they have a like a lid that closes so it doesn't get mess everywhere. I also have two more pouches of snacks. I am all about the snacks for my toddler because she loves food. So in this pouch, I have some bars bars in here and the other pouch I have boxes of raisins so I have my two snack bags that are also Disney princesses I also have in here a wet bag in the event that I need it for some reason I have it in the front pocket here it's just a wet bag I thought that that would be helpful to have just in case she messes up her clothes for my infant's feeding I actually have a bottle warmer in here. This is the Baby Screw portable bottle warmer. I absolutely love this bottle warmer. I bought it myself, it's not sponsored. There's a link up above if you wanna see my full review and demo of it, but I love this thing, it's the best. It has the cord in there for charging. On the side here, I actually have one of my Doc Brown's bottles. It, this pocket is insulated, so I have a Doc Brown's bottle in here, and I will be putting another one in here right before we leave. I also, for my infant, have in here a work cloth I have a little bib for my infant and also a work cloth that is right here. Those are feeding for my infant. So that's kind of like all the food stuff. I also have a bib in here for my toddler. So that's all the food stuff. Let's move on in the bag to diaper stuff because if you have under two year olds, you probably are dealing with diaper stuff. So the way that I did this is I have a carry-on bag along with the diaper bag. Remember too that a diaper bag does count as a personal item. So if you're bringing a carry-on, this is your personal item. Unfortunately, it's not free. So I packed as little as possible in this bag. What I have for diapering is these little pouches. These are Bumpkin's Baby little clear pouches like this. And in each one, I have a few diapers. I have a package of wipes that's actually in the back and I have some aquaphor tape. So the rationale behind this is that I literally could just grab this whole thing and the changing pad in the back and go to the bathroom. There's not a whole bunch of crap that I'm bringing. So this one is for my daughter, Alice, and I also have one for my daughter, Mina, and it is smaller than Alice's. So I can tell visually too, which one is which, because this one's Alice's, it's bigger. This one is Mina's, it's smaller. I also have a changing pad that is easily accessible right here in the bag that I will bring along with whichever diaper bag I need to take them to the bathroom to change them. In the very bottom of my bag, I have a change of clothes for both girls. I chose little rompers because they don't take much space up, but you never know when you need a change of clothes. So I just have a change of clothes for my 18 month old and a change of clothes for my two month old. The other things that are in the middle pocket here are toys for my toddler. Now, I didn't pack a ton of toys, but I did pack things that she has never seen before. So I'm hoping the novelty of it will keep her interested and she will like playing with it for a while. And actually two of these are from Dollar Tree. Actually three of them are from Dollar Tree. I have some Minnie Mouse flashcards that have shapes and colors on them. Alice will probably enjoy pointing to them and saying the names of them. So I got some little Minnie Mouse flashcards. I have a Halloween window cling. Now if you're confused why I have this, I I'm sitting in a window seat and I've been playing with Alice just to see if she'd be intrigued by it with sticking these on our windows at home and she loves it. So I actually got one for us to stick on the windows on the plane and obviously I will take them off of there and throw them away before we get off the plane but this is easy entertainment for her to be able to stick them on the window while we're traveling. The last Dollar Tree toy that I got for Alice is a sticker book. She's 18 months old, so it's lots of little puffy animal stickers. I figure she'll think it's fun to peel them off and meticulously stick them on. And since it has 
276 pieces. This should hopefully keep her occupied for a while. The last toy that I have in the bag for her is actually some Melissa and Doug polka dot alphabet cards. Alice loves polka dot cards. If you've never used the polka dot books, they're amazing and kids are so enthralled in these. Since it comes with 13 cards and they're front and back, I figure even if she only spends a minute on each side, that's a solid half an hour that she gets entertained on the plane, hopefully. All right, let's take a look at the front pocket now. The front pocket, I try to keep pretty simple because I don't want a bunch of stuff in there and this is the stuff that if I need it, I need it right now. So I have passies for my daughter Alice who she normally does not use a passy unless she's going to sleep but I still brought them just in case her ears are popping or bothering her on the airplane. I've never flown with her, so I don't know. So I did bring passies for her. And then in this pouch, I have passies for my daughter, Mina. I also have a couple of alcohol wipes. So let's say we sit down to eat somewhere. I just have these so that I can wipe down any surfaces that my daughter is touching. Or if I wanna wipe down the seat that we're sitting in on the airplane or the window before Alice starts sticking a bunch of stuff to it, just because she puts her hands in her mouth and I don't want germs to wind up in her mouth. So I have a couple of these little alcohol wipes. Last but not least in the front pouch, I have a little package of tissues. You never know when you're gonna need some tissues, so I have those in here too. And I have a, one of those travel packages of wipes as well. That's everything that is in that front pocket. The last thing that I am putting in this diaper bag is just like my ID, things like that that I'm gonna need to get immediately, and my three masks that I am bringing. Now since both of my girls are under two, they will not have to wear a mask on the plane. So that is all of my stuff that is going in my diaper bag. Now, like I said, I also have a carry-on bag that's going with this, and what I'm putting in the carry-on bag is spare diapers, more snacks, and more toys. So that way, if there's any delay, we have stuff in there too that I can unzip and get. It's just harder to get because it's a roller carry-on bag. So that's everything that I'm putting in the diaper bag. In my opinion, less is more. I do not want a whole bunch of stuff that I can't find in this bag. So that's why I only brought, you know, the essentials. One last thing that I want to mention again too is that don't forget if you are a breastfeeding or pumping parent, you can bring your pump bag and your breast pump for free. Even if you have a carry-on and a personal item, it does not count. And that also includes bringing a cooler bag with any sort of pumped breast milk or even formula. Those don't count, they're considered medical items. So you can actually bring those in addition to your bag. So I will be bringing a pump bag, a diaper bag, and a carry-on and not having to pay extra for any of that. I hope this video was helpful in some ideas for what you might need to bring for traveling with an infant and a toddler or one or the other. And hopefully your travel journeys will be easy and tear free. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Take care.